I was having attacks two and three times a week where I was so sick and my life was so affected. I mean, there was no life as far as I was concerned. I don't have, I almost say I don't have it anymore. I do. I can look at these lights. I'm not affected. I have things uh, that bother me. I walk into walls sometimes and that's like funny. Um, but now I can do movies. I can do everything now. I can dance. I can jitterbug. I can circle. I can exercise. So I am, I, f I feel so bad to hear someone else say how they're still so affected. Raising awareness about vestibular disorders is important because there are so many people who have vestibular disorders. Uh, a recent study showed that about 5% of the population every year develops a vestibular disorder. And so this is, you know, it's one out of every 20 people have vestibular disorder. It's very important, I think, that uh, both for, for people's comfort in general and for better medical care that people understand about vestibular disorders. It's also really important to stay connected to friends and family as um, nobody really knows how sick you are unless they live with you. Once you have a strategy, once you have a plan, you can cope with it and you can get better and learn that this isn't so bad. But those strategies are the solution to all of, all of the problems. Autometrics and audiology systems are proud partners of the Vestibular Disorders Association and we're very excited to partake in the Balance Awareness Week. Our goal is just like VITA, where we'd like to spread balance awareness and reduce diagnosis time. You don't have to stop living and that you can do something about it and I think it's really important.